Sorry, future me from the editing booth just wanted to say that this is part two of a two-part video series So it's gonna make a lot more sense if you watch the first part Although if you'd rather be Tommy Wami wibbly wobbly, you're totally welcome to do that watch this in reverse Otherwise the link to the very first episode of the first part of the series is in the description below. Enjoy. Bye The best box set that you can buy for Doctor Who. Hey guys, welcome to the Doctor Who Guide, helping you expand your knowledge, your collection, and your connection with other Doctor Who fans. So definitely subscribe, because here on this channel we post guide videos, tips and tricks for expanding your collection, resource suggestions, and much, much more. And this week we're looking at Doctor Who, the missing episodes, specifically the surviving footage. Also, at any point during this video, feel free to check out the description below. I've got a ton of links down there, including a completely free and customizable resource that I've made for you guys to help you keep track of your missing episodes. So the first story on our list today is Galaxy 4. Now, this is a four-part story that started off season three, which is, along with season four, one of the most heavily hit seasons for missing episodes. But you can find episode three of this story on the Aztec Special Edition. Another re-release that needed extra bonus features to convince people to buy it as though the cover weren't motivation enough. I absolutely love the cover on this DVD, but you can find it on the Aztec Special Edition. So I would definitely suggest going for this if you don't have the Aztecs because you get Galaxy 4 Episode 3 along with a condensed reconstruction of episodes 1, 2, and 4. Extensive clips, there's about 6 minutes from I think episode 2, so it is totally worth it to get this DVD. Moving right along to Mission to the Unknown, this is the prequel to the Daleks Master Plan. There is no surviving footage from this, not even a clip, so it's very easy to collect on DVD. <laughs> Moving along to The Myth Makers. This is a four-part historical story, however all of the episodes are missing, but there are still surviving clips, and you can get those surviving clips on Doctor Who Lost in Time Collection of Rare Episodes. This is an awesome set. This is arguably the best box set that you can buy for Doctor Who. You get 18 episodes, the audio of four episodes, and clips from 14 missing episodes. I would highly suggest getting this. Moving right along into the Daleks Master Plan. Now this story is epic. This is a 12 part story. One of the longest Doctor Who episodes ever. Mission to the Unknown is a prequel to the Daleks Master Plan. And if you want to get the surviving audio, I highly suggest that you do. And you can get episodes 2, 5, and 10 on Doctor Who, The Lost in Time Collection. Moving on to The Massacre, there is no surviving footage from this, so you can't really collect it on DVD. That was easy. Moving on to The Celestial Toymaker. This is a four-part story, which would be awesome to see colorized because the costumes look amazing, or at the very least, very colorful. This story is a four-part story with episodes one, two, and three missing. However, episode four is surviving, and you can get that on, guess who, The Lost in Time Collection. It's just another reason to get this set. If I haven't sold you on this already, I don't know what will. Maybe off-air film recordings and clips from The Savages, which is a four-part story which has no surviving full episodes, but you can get the clips on this set right here, The Lost in Time Collection. Moving on to The Smugglers, which is a four-part historical drama where the Doctor takes on pirates. This is, yeah, pirates. You, you heard that right. Pirates, okay? The 11th Doctor wasn't the first Doctor to do that. You can find clips as well as behind the scenes footage all on the Lost in Time collection. Moving on to the 10th planet, this has its own special release because episodes 1, 2, and 3 are surviving. Unfortunately, episode 4 is missing. Now, if you don't know what happens in this story, I highly suggest that you can get the DVD. And episode 4 has been animated. It's the same sort of style as the Reign of Terror and the Moon Base. Planet 55 did the animation. It has a bonus feature. You can also find the photo reconstruction version of this where any clips possible from the episode are used. Well, there you go, guys. Five DVDs that give you the best bang for your buck and allow you to complete your William Hartnell collection. Once again, everything is linked down in the description below along with a Google spreadsheet that is available for anyone with a Google account to download that has a customizable and full list of 
everything that was talked about in this episode along with links. If for some reason you can't download that, all the information is in the description below and you can check it out there. And comment down below what missing episode story do you want to see the most? I look forward to hearing your answers. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Until then, keep expanding your knowledge, your collection, and your connection. Bye.